Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Old, and this is your weekly update. CTR encourages all members to be sure to review the member advisory on practice issues related to the NAR settlement agreement. That advisory was emailed to all members. It provides answers to two important frequently asked questions, as well as information on CTR forms available to potentially use in those circumstances. Go to facts.realtor for all settlement-related information. As a reminder, registration closes tomorrow for the education program for CT Realtors members on topics related to the NAR settlement. The course is called What You Need to Know by August 17th, which will cover background on the settlement and prepare you for upcoming changes. It will be held virtually on Wednesday, July 31st from 9 till noon. There is no cost to register, but you must be a CT Realtor member to attend. The course provides three hours continuing education credit, provided certain criteria are met. Register at ctrealtors.com. The deadline to sign up is Tuesday, July 30th at noon. The economic team from NAR provided an update to members focused on the residential market. The virtual economic and real estate summit provided an outlook on the changing housing climate. Chief economist Dr. Lawrence Yoon outlined his mid-year update, which included a look at home sales, home prices, and inventory. He says inventory is inching up, but home sales are at the lowest level in nearly 30 years. Yoon also discussed mortgage interest rates, which remain around 7%. When will the Federal Reserve cut interest rate? Well, they are mentioning that they will cut interest rate once the inflation reaches 2%. So inflation is not yet 2%, but there is a expectation in Wall Street that there could be an interest rate cut this autumn. Deputy Chief Economist Dr. Jessica Louts also talked about interest rates, which are currently just below the historical average. Louts shared the latest data on home buyers and sellers, noting Connecticut in the top 10 of states with positive net migration. She says her focus is looking for opportunities within the data. The data that we're looking at shows that buyers want to work with an agent and are working with an agent. Nearly 90% of home buyers used an agent last year. They recommended their agent. They had a good experience with their agent. Nine and 10 would use them again or recommend them to someone else. You can watch the hour-long Real Estate Forecast Summit by following the link at ctrealtors.com slash NAR events. That is your weekly update. I'm Christy Olds for CTR TV.